Hi, this is Jacob from the Azure portal. Today I would like to show you how you can add a custom HTML to your dashboard using the markdown control. So uh, I will go to my .NET Conf PL v2 dashboard. This is a dashboard I created for .NET Conf PL conference I created with my friends. And if I right click on the dashboard and I say customize, here I can drag the markdown control. So I'll drag it here. And you see, I have custom HTML here and it's done with markdown, okay? So now I wanna customize it, Let, let's call it .NET Conf PL 2016. Uh, the subtitle will be November uh, 12, because that probably will be the date of the ne next conference. And I can add my custom content. So let's say I will say speakers, uh, I don't know yet what we'll have, but probably we'll get Anders Halesberg. Maybe we'll get Halesberg. Maybe John Skeet. I can also add the links, of course, here. So I can say conference website http.netconf.pl and it change into the link. And uh, I click update. Now I have my tile. Click done customizing. I can click this link. I can go to the website. I can even grab images. So let me inspect this element to grab the link to this image. And I will add this logo to my markdown. So right click here, say copy link address. Move back here, click edit again. And I will add on top. I don't remember how to add image with Markdown, but what is cool about Markdown, you can also use HTML here. So I'll say image source. Of course, I'll add alt tag for accessibility. Say so .NET Conf PL logo. Close the tag. And I have image on my tile. What is also cool, you can resize this tile. So, you know, I can grab it, make it smaller, and I can have any size I want here. Okay, so let's say I want this to be that big. And I can add more speakers. And I can uh, save it. Uh, I will move up my other tiles here to be nicely grouped and click done customizing. So with Markdown Control, you can drop whatever you want to the dashboard, whatever info you need. You can all, you, you know, you can also embed images, which is pretty cool. So you can have third party content here. If you have any questions or suggestions about the Azure portal, uh, please tweet me at Jacob Jedrushek or email me. You can find my email on my blog, jg09.net.